What's up YouTube? Robert back. Rob's reviews. Uh, I am wearing a Sriracha shirt and yeah I put that on everything but that's not important right now. What is are these glass bottles. These glass glass bottles I have actually found during uh, during uh, or actually working on different job sites. I'm a grader. We work in the dirt so we do a lot of OXing. Sometimes we're digging down three feet to do some, something. Uh, building house, apartments, whatever it would be. Sometimes we're going down 17, 18, 19 feet to make sure compaction is good. We could build something on top of it. But these are a few bottles that I found during that time. So let's get into it. So this first bottle I got over here, it's not necessarily that old, but I think it's pretty cool. It is a 1984 Anheuser-Busch Budweiser U.S. Olympic Team glass bottle. On this side, you have the Anheuser-Busch symbol right there. On this side, you have the U.S. Olympic symbol right there. You have USA with the Olympic symbol right here. On the bottom of the glass, it says official sponsor. And then on this side, it does say the 1984 U.S. Olympic team. So that's just a bottle I found. I actually collect other Budweiser bottles. I will be doing a video on the Budweiser bottles that I do have in my collection right now. So boom, there's the first one, 1984 glass bottle, 36 years old. Boom, done. This next one I have is a Pepsi bottle. This one is actually uh, from 1969 labels right there on it they are a little bit dirty but you know what uh, if I was in the ground for 51 years I'd probably be a little dirty too so right there at the top it says Pepsi Cola 12 fluid ounces other side just says Pepsi does have a swirl design on it going through pretty sick so there's that one 51 years old for that one found it in the ground still there brought it home Boom, that one's done. This one, it was hard to find any information on it. On the bottom, it says Lavetti, um, distilled water, Pasadena, Cal. Lavetti on that side. I couldn't find anything really. I tried to look up as much as I can something on it. I could not find any information on it. But the only thing I can base it off of is two days after I had found this one, my coworker had found another bottle in the ground, uh, and that bottle was from 1919. So I'm just going to throw this bottle from 1920 to 1930s or 40s. I'm not too sure. I couldn't find anything on it. But there's that one, Lavetti Distilled Water Company, Pasadena, Cal. So there's that one. That one, no date on it. I don't know how many years. So this one, this is a, a Grolsch beer bottle. This one is really hard to date. They have no markings on it. They have the label uh, embroidered in or it's blown in. I don't know how you would say that with glass. It says Grolsch across the top right here right before the neck of the bottle going around it does have this opening right here with the ceramic top when I found it I guess there should be a rubber stopper on this one there's not on this one but I looked them up they're only like a few cents to get them you get it back up close that I guess uh, home brewers that make their own beers and stuff are really into glass bottles like this um, that's their thing so I have this one um, what I do know about this is it's a Dutch beer that actually goes back to 1615 or something crazy like that. So it's a real old beer. Um, I know now they have green bottles of this and it was hard to find out when they switched from brown to green because in Europe they did it at a different time in United States they had it at different times so it's hard to tell but this one a pretty cool bottle has a little pop off ceramic top done so no date really known on that one flip that back up lock it down 
done. This one is one of my favorites. This is a 7-Up bottle. This bottle um, is actually from 1965. This one is pretty cool. At the top, right by the neck, it says 7-Up. It says uh, no return. The other side says no deposit. You have the 7-Up symbol right there that's going on and then right under the 7-Up symbol um, I guess it was their slogan at the time it says you like it it likes you so boom there's that the 7-Up so what was that that's 65 that would put this at 55 years old 55 years old so I'll go with that found that in the ground that's just another bottle I found other things too it's not just bottles like I do find a lot of cans that are from 60s, 70s, 50s, but those things are just so tore up, I don't even try to save them. Glass bottles survive, you clean them out. Um, sometimes they're harder to clean out, like this one, it's hard to clean out, cleaned out this one good, harder on this one. That one was kind of a pain, this one cleaned out good. So there's that. Um, I, I found old license plates before. The oldest license plate I found was from 1929. Um, I actually just gave that to my cousin. He does a lot of things with cars, so gave it to him. He hung it up in his garage. Awesome. Put it used to it. Um, but let's get back to these bottles. So the next bottle I have, this one is still dirty, um, but it still has the label on it. That's why I didn't want to like wash it or do anything. This is a Burgermeister beer that was made in 1952. Um, I found this. It still had the label on it. Um, I thought it was pretty crazy. It says a truly fine pale, uh, uh, pale beer. That's their slogan down here. Their guy is like a colonial type guy. He has like um, colonial hat I'll call it um, he has a stein in his hand uh, it's pretty cool um, I haven't done anything with this one just because I don't want to mess up the label I, I this one I need to do a little bit more research into at the top it is uh, embroidered or embossed however you want to say it. it just says no deposit no return so there's that one that one's from 1952 and with most of these glass bottles um, there will be an indicator on the bottom of how to find it usually it's a it'll have a symbol usually with like a circle a diamond and like this one this is the Owens uh, Owens Illinois glass company that's a circle with the diamond with an eye in the middle and the number always to the right of it is always the year that it was made so this one says 52 so that's what it is the number on the right is usually or the number on the left is the plant number where it was made at so the plant number I really don't care too much it's just the year so that one 1952 so there's that one I have two of them right here so um, I'll have to do more research on that and then put some more information on it now this one is a coca-cola one this is the only coca-cola one I've ever found um, I've had co-workers find other bottles but since I've been doing grading, underground work, uh, OXing, um, this is the only Coke bottle I have ever seen. And then this one is actually from 1948. Um, this was really cool on the bottom. doesn't have any markings on it, but it does say Los Angeles, California, right on the bottom, which is super cool. When I saw that, I was like, that's awesome. And this one... Um, with this bottle, there was um, this is a typical bottle style that they have. It does say trademark uh, right here, bottle patent D uh, 105529. Does have that um, on this side. Uh, it does say trademark again, um, but on the side of the bottle right here where it bevels in, right on that side, there's a year date mark right there and that says 48 right there so this bottle is from 1948 so this would put it at 72 years old which is a trip this sat underground for 70, 72 years and all these were dug up with 
heavy equipment excavators or loaders and somehow with them getting torn out of the ground and thrown into a stockpile they still survived and didn't get smashed so that's pretty remarkable to me but these are just some cool things I found on my job sites so if you like what you saw and if you have any information on any of these bottles let me know in the comments below if you liked it give me a thumbs up if you want to see more subscribe so till next time later